Hello everyone, Penguin Sal here again today, and we are rocking the new look full release of Rogue Narok. Now we are going to disclose that we did get the key through key mailer through our friend at Fishbump Dev, who made the game. We've been following this one's journey for a while, so we did play the demo a while back, but this is the full release, so we're going to dive in and see what all has changed. So we'll dive in. Let's do the campaign. Battle your way through five enemy territories until you've reached the ship that will sail you to safety. Unlock new warriors as you progress. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we're working with. Angasaurus. Norosaurus. Uh, I will start. Sure, I don't know. Okay, let's see. None of these guys have any resistances. What the heck is... Increase all resistance every minute. Interesting. Okay. Let us dive in. I am going to be... I know we played as Ragnar last time we played. Let's play as Megalobone. Just for fun. Just to switch it up. Um, they want physical weapons. What do we want? I'm going to pick something random, probably. Let's go with the bamboo stick. Let us start with that. Notice your turret has recharged. Choose your upgrade. Hunt. Megalobone dives, becoming untargetable, but unable to attack. After two seconds, resurfaces dealing physical. Frenzy. Regains health for every 10 enemy takedowns. Giant Teeth. For every 100 enemy takedowns, gains an additional physical damage. I would like this, I suppose. What the heck am I looking at? Hey, Christmas trees. What did I just do? Why am I getting experience? Oh, maybe my turret is killing... Oh, these must be my turrets. I was like, I'm getting experience, but I'm not actually doing anything. That's it. Oh, maybe that's a passive ability. That thing we took. Maybe it's just I get stronger every 100 kills. And it's just a passive ability. So what is this? Bonus physical damage. Yeah, just keep giving me that. I'll take that because I'd like to just keep getting that damage up would be cool. We definitely like things that let us increase our stats as we kill bads. Stat break. What do we have? We have $34. So I can't afford another bamboo. We could get a frozen heart, which gives us armor and HP. And we could get haste, which is our movement speed. Well, why not? Sure. That's what we had there that we could afford. So I was like, eh, why not? Hey, back up. I do like when we get close to the structures. Ah! When we get close to the structures, they like become transparent i kind of like that so that they're not actually like in the way of what's happening i feel like a lot of times you play these things and like baddies end up behind things and you're like i don't know okay let's let's max that out so we should be gaining stats hopefully assuming that's working the way i think it's working oh we had to recharge our turret These are our turrets, apparently. We have to recharge them by standing in their their little zone. Step break. We have $66. Plus 10 duration to all turrets. Tiered eye. Plus 10 range to all turrets, plus 2 piercing to all. Don't have the money. I don't have enough money for anything. So just get me back out there, chief. Got to make sure we're, we're making sure our turrets are all ready to go. Ah, I've been hit. Okay, that was a good effect. It definitely showed me that I was getting hit. Let's heal. Let's get healing just to be cool. Make sure that turret's ready to go. I like how it was actually dark over there. It's like, hey, your your turrets, you're not. It's not the. It's not ready to die, just yet. I don't know how long this these waves are. I'm hoping if we have to play through like a bunch of rounds, that each individual round's not very long. Ow, I ran into that. 
Just keep healing me. That break. Do we actually have money this time? Iron pistol, iron claw, lantica. Has a large projectile that can pierce that, but it's arcane. We don't want that. We want physical. So we'll take an iron claw, I suppose. Give me a reroll. Iron hand, HP regen, and arcane. No. Iron shield, arcane. No. Fine. I'll, I'll take some bone boots, and we we dive back in. Come here. We are arcane. Or we are not arcane. We are physical. So we will choose our weapons as such. Like I said, I always felt like this game had some inspiration from Brotato in the way that the stats and weaponry work. And I do not mean that in a bad way at all. Because as you guys know, I think Brotato's the king when it comes to these games. Ah! We're just hacking away at these baddies for now. Oh, we got our fourth tsunami. Summons four tsunamis and a cross. Okay. That sounds cool. I would like to try that. Hey. Okay. Bang. Let's try it, chump. That break. Uh, no. Um. Every 50 enemy takedowns will grant you an armor. Okay, so we, we, we get initial armor loss... But then, when we kill guys, we get more. I like the sound of that. I'll buff my turrets, too. Why not? I like the sound of that. So, we don't want to take any hits now. Because we are at negative 7 or negative 8 armor or something like that. So, we definitely don't want to get hurt. But I would like to stack up some armor for the future. Bang. Bang. Get tsunami. I ran into that. Tsunami me. Bang. I'd like more weapons. I would definitely like more weapons. Ow. Because I feel like we just can't lay down that many attacks at a time. Step break. Give me another weapon here. We can have four apparently. T-Rex Bone Blade. Physical damage, max HP, regen, minus armor. T-Rex Bone grants its holder luck. For every 20 enemies killed, you gain 5x gold. That sounds cool. I would like to purchase this. Oh, it was an item. It wasn't even a weapon. Armor and regen for a broken shield. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a reroll. Paper. So, we could... Uh, we could soul lamp again. Well, our armor's up to 15 now. So I think we do this and we just... We kind of go large mode. I think we just attempt to go incredibly large mode. We still haven't gotten another weapon, which is really what I'm looking for, but... Because that's how you dish out more, more... Many more attacks. Get tsunami. Nerd. Bring it up. Owie. We said we did follow this game's journey for a while. We really like what we've seen out of Fish Bump Dev, who made the game. Let us make Tsunami insane. Like we we like them quite a bit. They're always very friendly and, and nice to deal with. So we're glad we can be checking this out again. I don't know if there's time up in the corner. Is that for the wave? Or is that... Okay, that must be for the entire round. Um, A gold crossbow. Can pierce two times. Reduces physical damage by 20 upon impact. I like the sound of some range. Give me a golden crossbow. I'll lock that. Yeah, because it says there's 15 seconds left, it looks like. So the top right number is the amount of time left in the particular little wave of the battle. And that must be the time left in the entire battle next to it. We have done it. Special round. What the hell? Warning. Boss. What the heck is that? A crab? 
Bring it up. Ah! Get tsunami. That's it. Pop me out with the hunt. Get tsunami. It's still on cooldown. Never mind. Get tsunami. Bring it on. Ouch. We have done it. We have won this battle. We are awesome. Congratulations, you've unlocked battle number two, the Sanguine Liberation. We have done it. Send me back to the main menu. Let's, so, I, I do the second battle now. This is battle two. So we can go back to battle one. No, go back. Or we can do battle two. Battle two, enemy details. Okay, these guys have physical resistance more than arcane. So, we'll pick an arcane character here, assuming we have one. Are you guys arcane? You are arcane. We are going to be Bo, the Scout of the Void. We need an arcane weapon. Let's do a ranged weapon this time. Let's do... I don't know. Let's do the pistol. Why not? We will use a pistol. Our turrets have been recharged. We look a lot smaller. Okay. Tosses a fern pot to the target lasting 30 seconds. The pot explodes upon enemy contact and deals arcane damage. Swiftly. Swiftly dashes to a location and refreshes all ability cooldowns. Throws a flare that attracts enemies. Let's throw a flare and be like, nice try, idiots. Oh, we got our cannon. I'm guessing that's our only turret this time. Hey. Bad. Hey. Oh, bang. How about you guys go over to that thing? Idiots. Bang. Okay, I'm liking this so far. It's pretty It's pretty creative. I will get a fern trap this time. We'll go offensive. Bang. Let's try chump. Hit you with a little bit of that. Go towards that. Bang. Nice try, slugs. I like the piercing on the on the pistol. Like, holy, that's shredding those guys. That was shredding those guys. Something fierce. Bone marrow. Attack speed and haste. Physical and arcane damage up. For every 10 enemies killed, you shoot 8 things that deal some damage. Okay. I would like this. I'll take this as well. I actually like that that individual battle that we just did was pretty short and that we, we restarted afterwards i feel like it really helps you not get just insanely overpowered right give me my last ability for now hey bads bang like i feel like it really helps you not get just too powerful yeah everybody go in towards that moron What the heck is that missile? Something to shoot missiles at us. Hey. Duration or damage? Or cooldown? I guess I'll take a cooldown. Stat break! Let's see. What do you have? Armor, less regen? No. Physical thing? No. I will take this. Side effect. Upon impact, reduces arcane damage by 25. Cannot pierce through enemies. I don't think I fully understand that then. Like, it gets weaker, but it doesn't pierce. So... So if it doesn't pierce, why do we care that it gets weaker when it hits them? I'm uncertain. How about all you guys get sucked into that herb thing? You guys are all dying before you get close to it. Get drawn into that. Like, nice try, chump. I guess we can have the pot do more damage. Bang. I see health over there. We don't need it, but I see it. That brick. 
Plus five arcane damage. Those are physical weapons. I will take the plus five arcane damage and then roll. I'll take attack speed on my turret in haste. Get drawn into that. They're not the... Uh... They're dying too fast to actually get hit by that pot. I'll throw a second one. Have you guys go drawn in towards it. Let's try it, chump. Make that stronger. Next, we can increase the duration of the lamp, the flare. Stat break. Yeah, we're destroying them right now. 50 max HP and regen. Grants luck. Every 10 enemies you heal. That's a lot of heal. Give me horse. Give me this. We lose a lot of damage. I don't want that. I will just take more arcane damage. I mean, these guys don't stand a chance at this point. Bring it on. Okay, they are shooting projectiles at us, though. What do we got? Fern popper! That was a fern popper the target causing an explosion. Okay. Hey. Get fern poppered. It's hard to tell what's going on a little bit. It's getting a little messy. Lionel. Apparently that was a fern popper. It's getting a little bit messy. Trying to tell what all is happening. That brick. Magic wand. Uh, sure. Physical damage? No. That stuff? Eh, no. T-Rex bone ring. Sure. Every time you take damage, you're healed by two. That's interesting. I'll take it. Ow. Apparently I've been hit. Like I said, I can't always tell what's happening. There's just a lot of stuff happening on the screen. I would like this to have a longer duration. Whoa! Get Fern Popper. Hate to have to do it to you, but get Fern Popper. Like, there's a lot going on. I'll give you that. There's a lot going on. Owie. I just picked one at random, I'll be honest. Stat break. Iron pistol. Sure, give me another pistol. Sure. Let us ride. I will take life steal. We did lose some speed. But I think that's something I'm willing to take. Get pop, turds. Bang. Special round. Bring it on. A boss. Ah. Where are you? Apparently you're over here. Hello. Ah, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't, what the, that did half of my health and stunned me. That was ass. That was genuine ass, I would say. I would not like to retry the battle. I thought that was a little bit ass. I was like, he did half my health and stunned me, so I couldn't even go anywhere. I thought that, that was a little bit balls. But, okay, that's going to be our first look at the new fully released Rogue Narok. It has some cool ideas to it. I do think the fight scenes get a little bit messy when there's just a lot of things happening. A lot of colors, 
um, different guys shooting projectiles and stuff. It's kind of hard to keep it all together. But the turret system is cool. And, you know, I, I like that there's different little missions. And they're not too long. So, if you guys want to check this out, this is Rognarok. We'll have a link for it in the description of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to like the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You can keep up to date with all the cool indie first looks we do. And I'd really appreciate that. I appreciate you guys watching this. I'll catch you in the next one.